Hello everyone, it's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and uh, today is a very important day, at least for AMD. They brought out two new graphics cards, the 770, uh, the 7750 and the 7770, which I still can't get my, uh, my tongue around it yet, but yeah, 7750 and 7770. Now we've got a completely different video based on the uh, 7750 as well as the written review, obviously, and then we've got this video and another written review so you can see things in a little bit more detail on the 7770. Right, so 7770 is really, or the 7000 series are AMD's new technology which is, they've all got their own little code names, so we've got the 7950 and 7970 which are based on Tahiti, whereas the 7750 and 7770 are codenamed Cape Verde. Now what they offer is 28 nanometer technology and really it's just uh, some kind of stepping stone for AMD to act as a replacement for some already successful cards. So the 5770 Radeon is still to this date the world's best selling DirectX 11 graphics card and AMD are really really proud of that accomplishment. It offered you know, great scope for them to build on the success and that's exactly what they did with the 6000 series and now the 7000 series. So we've got the 7770 which is this lovely little card here um, which we're going to be looking at in a little bit more detail in a little bit but to tell you a little bit more about it so 5770 most successful DirectX 11 card really they've just built on the success of that and made it 28 nanometer technology but one great thing that they've done is obviously we can all overclock our graphics cards you may have one that runs at 800 megahertz 900 925 950 whatever and you can always overclock to you know a little bit more sometimes over the 1 gigahertz mark this card the 7770 actually comes with a 1 gigahertz core clock speed at stock, which is really one of the unique selling points for this card. If you want a card that really does sort of you know break the boundaries, then this is going to be it. Obviously, it's aimed at the sort of budget mainstream price point. It's not going to compete with the 7950, 7970, but they are, in all honesty, quite expensive cards. You're looking at sort of you know over 400 pounds, 600 bucks US dollars, however you want to see it. So they are quite expensive cards. This is more for the budget mainstream market. And because of that, they have been aiming things at the price conscious while still offering some good performance. So what they've really tried to do with the 7770 is offer it up against things like the GTX 550 and obviously the older generation AMD cards to really give you something extra that you can get now that you couldn't get a year ago, six months ago or even you know two, three years ago. Um, because the 5770 did come out you know, quite a while ago now, so it's nice to see something that's going to stem on from that success. So without sort of delving too much into it whilst you're looking at my, my face, what we're going to do is actually take off the tripod, look at the graphics card itself and talk through some of the specifications which you already know, 1 GHz core clock speed, but we'll talk about the memory speed, how much power it uses, the zero core technology and then we'll take you straight in and have a look at some of the benchmark results we've got and how they compare with the other cards that we've tested recently. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll get you straight in to have a look at the new AMD Radeon HD 7770. So everyone, like we promised, here is the 7770 graphics card Radeon from AMD. Um, straight away, you're going to see it is a very reference design. Obviously, AMD's partners, Sapphire, HIS, XFX, Club 3D, all the other big brands out there are going to be developing their own cooler designs for this. Um, a lot of them will probably, um, for launch, bring out just exactly the same as this, but with their own sticker in the middle or to one side. So straight away we can see that it's got this plastic cooler which encompasses over the whole card and it does take up two slots in your chassis. Um, specs wise, so before we actually sort of look more into the design of the card, we're going to talk about the specs. Now straight away it's got 640 stream processors, it has a 1 GHz core clock speed which is a world's first and AMD are really really proud of that. And you may see this card looking exactly like this but instead of having a Radeon sticker here, they have a 1 GHz sticker which is really just a bit of publicity for them so people know exactly what they're getting. So 1 GHz core clock speed and obviously you can overclock that as well and AMD do believe that there is some scope for that. Uh, we're looking at a 1125 MHz memory clock speed on this card and it is going to be running on a 128-bit memory interface with 1 gigabyte of GDDR5. So with a card like this in the market that it's aimed at, sort of the budget mainstream market, there's really no need for sort of you know extra memory. 1 gigabyte should be fine, but some of AMD's partners may be developing it with uh, you know extra memory such as a 2 gig capacity, but that's entirely up to them. Power-wise, AMD are quoting that this will use less than 80 powers when loaded and then less than 3 watts when idle. 
Uh, obviously, we're going to put it to the test uh, very, very soon, and you'll see that in the, in the results that we'll show you a little bit later on as to how this actually deals with the power and how much our overall system does draw. Now, with um, the actual design of this, as I said, it's got a plastic heatsink cover design all the way across, and uh, sadly, you can't see inside there, but there is uh, an aluminium heatsink in there as well. Power wise, we've got one six pin power uh, PCI Express power connector and that's all that it requires so most people shouldn't have a problem with that at all uh, looking at the back of the car we can see that it's got the X clamp bracket and it's a standard reference design from AMD crossfire wise we've got one uh, crossfire X adapter so you can uh, put this in with a dual GPU configuration and then turning around to the display uh, connectors you can see firstly the top port has got plenty of ventilation holes which will exhaust the heat directed by the fan straight out the back of your chassis and then connection wise we've got a dual link DVI connector, HDMI and two mini display ports and this card will accept up to uh, six different displays whether you use that via um, daisy linking or daisy chaining the display port adapters or whether you get a display port hub but either way they are very very expensive but um, you can still run obviously multiple uh, screen configurations uh, entirely up to you how you want to do it. So that's pretty much the card and I will apologize that there isn't a mass amount to talk about um, generally we'd have you know retail packaging we could look for the accessories the box and things like that but what we're doing the written review is we take this cooler off completely you'll be able to see the GPU core the memory and so forth and really get down to nitty-gritty with it and you can see all the benchmark results but we will show you the benchmark results here as well so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll get them results to you uh, as soon as possible so stay tuned and we'll have the results of the AMD Radeon 7770 world's first 1 gigahertz graphics card